caves here are full of life, as we've seen, and it starts with the bats and the birds on the ceiling, and they're bringing resources into the cave. Uh, basically, they're catching insects outside of the cave, and then they're coming, returning to the cave, and the feces and whatnot are dropping to the floor, the guano. And on the floor lives an amazing array of animals and insects, uh, pseudoscorpions and cockroaches and dermestid beetles. There's all these things waiting for these resources to fall from the sky. And on the floor, the competition for these resources can be intense. You might have hundreds, if not thousands, of individual animals in a very small area, and they sit and they wait, or they just move slowly. Mostly they just sit and wait, and they something hits from above, and they all leap for it and try to get those resources. It's a fascinating analogy would be a baseball game. You have a famous hitter, Sammy Sosa, and he hits a home run, and all the people, there's one ball, and all the people in the outfield want to catch that ball and have it. It's just theirs. The same deal here. They all leap on each other, and they pile in, and they try to grab their that resources. It's, it's quite an amazing thing to see, and it occurs all the time here. If you just look around the floor, you can see this every time something hits the floor, everything leaking on it. Uh, it's a very intense competition, and you have to win it, at least sometimes, to survive.